a man walks from point P to reach point U, right? A man walks from point P to reach point U. Now, what happens between point P and point U is what is given here, right? So let us assume, you know, this is the point P. He says he walks 12 meters towards south to reach point U. Remember, this is the start of his journey. So we are at point P, right? This is point P. So from point P, he walks 12 meters south to reach point Q. So let's assume this is point P, right? He has walked 12 meters south, 12 meters south to reach point Q. So this is point Q, okay? Then he walks 30 meters towards east. He walks 30 meters towards east to reach point R. This is point R. Then he walks 10 meters towards south. Now he walks 10 meters towards south to reach point S. This is point S. All right. This is point S. Sorry. Okay. When he's at point S, he walks and reaches point T. So from point S, he walks and reaches point T, which is 25 meters east of point S, which here is what? Point T. Point T is 25 meters east of point S. So east of point S is this side. How much? 25 meters. This is point T. And then he walks 10 meters towards north. Then he walks 10 meters towards north. So from point T, he walks 10 meters towards north. From point T, he walks 10 meters towards north. And remember, at this point, he stops. And it has to be the point U. Because in the beginning itself, he had mentioned that he has walked from point P to reach point U. So this is the trace of his path, right? From point P to point U. Now answer the questions. How far does the man reach from point P? Point P? So from point P, how far has he reached? I mean, finally, when he has reached point U, how far has he reached? How much is the distance that he has traveled? Now, this is a simple uh, right angle triangle that we get here. Apply Pythagoras theorem to get the answer. So what happens? If you see, you know, between point P and point U, the horizontal distance is 30 plus 25. This would be 25, right? Copy. So 30 plus 25. 30 plus 25 is 55. And the vertical distance is 12. Right? The vertical distance here is 12. This 10 to the south and 10 to the north gets cancelled. Right? So this is 12. Alright? So 12 and 55. This is point P and point U. So what should be the distance between these two points? 12 squared plus 55 squared under root. 12 squared plus 55 squared under root. But look at the options. I think clearly you can eliminate all the four options here. The first four options here. Because square root of 12 square plus 55 square should be more than 55. Right? It has to be more than 55. And all the options given here are less than 55. So if you can mark the answer as option 5, none of this. Do not waste your time in doing the calculation. I think this is the key. I am sure all of you have got the right answer. Fifth option, none of this. But what matters is how many of you have marked fifth option, none of this without doing the calculation. Right? You know that 12 square is 144, 55 square will be 3025, 3025 plus 144 is like, uh, you know, 3169, square root of 3169 will be somewhere around 56, 57, right? 3169 will be 56 because 56 square is 3136. So you can say the answer is 56 approximately. But is that needed? Is that calculation needed here? No. Answer is none of this straight because 16, 13, 12.5 and 14 are all out of the range. Look at next question, in which direction has the man reached from point P? So from point P, in which direction has he reached? It, this, what direction has he gone to? This is south, east, right? Between south and east. Anything between south and east is southeast. So option 3 is the answer here. Clear? So the first one has option 5 as the answer. And the second one is option 3. 